Okay, so Mark, thank you so much for chatting with me um, today. It's really great to kind of get an inside look of at home with Big. <laughs> um, so first question, what does working from home look like for you? Well, well uh, I'm lucky enough to have already had a, a work from home set up just, uh, you know, uh, when I started it, just being that far away from the office. So for the for those who don't know, I actually live in Burlington, Ontario, and that's about a 45 to 50 minute drive from head office in Welland. So I still go down there uh, several days a week when when it's not pandemic mode, but um, having a work from home set up is something I had pre pandemic. So I'm one of the lucky ones that, um, you know, I already had a comfortable spot kind of set away from the house, away from everybody else uh, that had full capabilities from work from home. So that part of it has been great for me. Um, and then also I've got a wife who is also still working full time. So she has a setup upstairs uh, also with, you know, two monitors and a laptop. So uh, definitely times where, uh, you know, she's got a meeting and we end up unhooking our laptops, kind of switching spots and kind of connecting at our other uh, workstations in the house, but uh, we're making do with uh, with the situation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so what advice would you provide to clients during this time? <sighs> wow. For, from a commercial standpoint, obviously things have uh, really impacted small business, medium business, really uh, anything that wasn't deemed essential service right from the beginning uh, is going to be impacted in some sort of way. So uh, from an advice standpoint, really the thing about commercial is every type of business that's out there is unique and everyone has unique needs and uh, depending on the business itself, their, uh, the change to their commercial policy is going to be different. So really from an advice standpoint, I would be don't be afraid to contact us, your insurance broker, contact them and we'll work with you and the company that we've placed you with to make sure that we come up with the right solution for you. So it's not a one size fits all in commercial, unfortunately. But uh, getting just having that conversation with you, understanding the situation that you're in is going to help us uh, figure out what the best solution is moving forward. Fantastic. Thanks. Um, how do you maintain a healthy work-life balance? <laughs> is yeah, that a thing? No, it, it, you know what? It's, um, it's difficult because a lot of the day kind of with work gets blended into home life when you're, when you're working here. And, uh, I've got two young kids. I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So, uh, I think I'm in the thick of it where, uh, <laughs> you know, most of the time when I am working from here, uh, the kids are in daycare. So I, I have like a nice quiet house, but, uh, you know, the work-life balance has been challenging. Um, I've been finding that I'm signing on earlier, uh, because, you know, you're not having to do that commute. So a lot of times, Typically, when I'd get down to the office and well, and maybe around 8.30, uh, I'm typically signing on now just because my kids are up early at about 7.30 or maybe 7 o'clock uh, while they're kind of having breakfast and, and getting some cartoons in while they're uh, having their breakfast. So uh, that part of it is, has changed. Uh, where I used to maybe take a lunch break at normal time, that's when they're both uh, hopefully napping. And that's when I'm really now having to kind of power through getting some stuff done. And then... Um, but really one of the main things that's changed is uh, working with my wife and coordinating our schedules and asking, you know, when do you have a meeting? You know, when do I have a meeting? Let's kind of figure something out. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we've, we've had times when we've both run into meetings at the same time and you're just trying to kind of keep your head above water, you know, prepare the kids with uh, some snacks and <laughs> something to entertain them and just pray that uh, they keep themselves occupied during the meeting. But, uh, you know, all in all, we're, we're making do with the situation uh, and uh, there have been some positives. You know, we're spending a lot more time as a family. Uh, the kids are certainly bonding a lot more than they were before because uh, they're kind of their only friend that they've got in the house. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're having a lot more time at home too to, uh, you, know, you know, make meals and have those family meals together, whereas uh, previously it, it was a little bit of a challenge to, you know, getting home at different times and rushing to get food on the table. So uh, there have been some positives in the, the whole thing. But um, yeah, the, the work-life balance has been a, a tricky game to play, but we're, we're figuring it out as we go, for sure. Great. Yeah. <laughs> definitely busy. They're very young, right? So <laughs> yeah, definitely. Need a lot of attention. So that's Aww. been, been uh, a challenge, for sure. Yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's interesting. A lot of people are in kind of the same boat with kids at home. Um, and I think 
you know, there's more understanding if, if you're on a call with someone and you hear kids in the background, it, it is just what it is, right? So everyone's trying to find that balance. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Um, what are you most looking forward to when things return to somewhat normal? Oh gosh, uh, I think just getting down to the office and having uh, having everybody down there. I mean, things certainly will be different in in you know our uh, social distancing practices and that sort of thing. But you know, we're lucky, and you and I both know uh, our office is a fantastic place to be, and it's such a large and open space that uh, the the social distancing is going to be, I think, easier for us than it would be for some other uh, brokerages in, in uh, you know in the area. So. Um, you know, our office is such a beautiful place and we've made it a place where everybody really does want to come and work. And there's certain things that I certainly miss, uh, the energy that it gives and just being around everybody. Uh, there's such positive energy when people are, you know, running into each other from, uh, you know, uh, at the coffee maker or at the espresso machine or at, uh, our awesome bevy machine that we have yeah. that, uh, <laughs> You know, it's just those unique times where you can collaborate with people from different departments uh, at any point in the day just by running into them and having those kind of water cooler chats. So I think that's really what I'm I'm missing is, um, you know, you, I have my meetings every day with my own team and having sporadic meetings throughout the week with, uh, you know, other departments. But it really doesn't uh, you can't really replicate that uh, that water cooler type chat that you would have when you when you were in the office. And um, like I said, the energy that we get. And uh, the collaboration just from from being down there is really what uh, I'm looking forward to, to having back when when it's all said and done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just actually want to touch a little bit because your um, meetings with your team are a little bit more creative um, and you've kind of really tried to replicate that those water cooler uh, chats. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah, we uh, we kind of adopted the the video chats pretty early on in, in when things got rolling with with COVID-19. And um, I was finding, you know, just being in the, the position that I'm in, I found that I was the one that was kind of taking the lead on most of the meetings, especially early on. So it, it, it uh, took a few days for me to realize, you know, it's not, um, it, it doesn't work the best when I'm the one that's doing all the talking. It's best to, to kind of um, put some responsibility on the rest of the team to come up with ideas and topics to talk about. But, you know, the first we, we, we tend to take the first uh, five to 10 minutes of, of the of the chat just to kind of connect with each other. Uh, I have one member of my team that just moved. So she gave us like a tour of her new place and uh, just doing like regular stuff that we, we would have. Um, on Fridays, we typically do a game and uh, every week uh, it's someone else's responsibility to come up with some sort of uh, game. So we've done, uh, you know, guess the uh, I guess the movie by a certain number of emojis and, and just stuff like that, just to kind of lighten it up. Uh, sometimes a Friday cocktail at three o'clock in the afternoon, just to kind of uh, help kick off the weekend, which is something we would normally um, do every now and again at the office uh, to celebrate uh, going into the weekend of, of a casual drink and just something like that to, to kind of uh, try and replicate what we have at the office and make things as normal as possible. So oh, that's awesome. I've heard very positive things about it. So, <laughs> and I try to do that in my own team too. So uh, definitely taking some of those ideas and, and using that, I like the Friday games. I think that's going to have to come up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, we've had some, and it, the more you can make it a competition, the more fun it seems to get because yeah. uh, everyone I know on my team specifically are, are, um, are definitely competitive. So it's nice uh -huh. to, to kind of have that as part of it. Fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to chat with me today, hey, Mark. No it's, problem. I'm looking forward to connecting with you in person. Uh, when yeah. This is all set and done. <laughs> for sure. Thanks okay. so much. Speak okay. To we'll you talk soon. soon. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.